Well, hello YouTube. What's going on? It's a beautiful day here. Can't really complain too much. And, uh, well... Whew. Hope everybody had a good holidays! Or did I already do one before the holidays? I'm pretty sure I did. <sighs> Anyways, uh... Shout out to my peeps! Every single one of you! Oh, I didn't buckle my fucking helmet. I got to fix that at this light. Uh, so... Yeah... Alright, done. Check. Alright, alright, so... Uh, I had some, I had asked for ideas about a topic somebody wanted to know about whenever I was a valet. I tell you what, that was a great job. Man, I got to drive so many damn cars, it wasn't even funny. We had Vipers come in. I was at the IP. Uh, and... I tell you what, it was just so much fun. We had a good group of people to work with, and everybody, mostly with people were hard workers. So everybody was working good for their tips. Uh, the tip was like a tip rate, so it was like a, it was like an hourly thing. They, they put it together and then they divided it up by how many people, and that was in hours, and it was some crazy stuff. But uh, we all get paid like. On the, on the good days, it was, on the good weeks, I'm sorry, it was like $15 an hour. Other weeks, it was like, uh, it was like $20 an hour at the highest, I think. Made some damn good money. Uh, got fired from that for some stupid shit. Uh, so, so like some of it was, uh, Some of it was uh, like we got some good uh, Hummers. I, I man, I I parked Hummers so much that I got sick of seeing H2s roll in. I hated it. But then there was a couple good cars that would come in, like a couple uh, Mustangs, a couple. Um, we never had anything like any Lambos or anything come in. We did have a Viper come in, and that was like it. A lot of Corvettes, a lot of Mustangs, ton, shit ton of civics and shit like that uh, and it was free so anybody could use it and man you get the shitty cars that come in like people down here dip a lot and I got a car one day I closed the door and there was an open cup right there next to me fucking spit cup open full and sloshed on me I swear to god I think I accidentally knocked it over when I slammed that dude's short uh, door shut. Because fuck that, man. I, I'm i sorry. I, I don't want to be a victim of your disgusting fucking habit. People can smoke around me all you want, you know. I I, I guess smoking's a little bit better in my eyes just because of the simple fact that, you know, the, sm the smoke smell... Unless I'm sitting in it, it doesn't cling to me and it doesn't bother me. Uh, but whenever it comes to dipping, just seeing you spit in a bottle or in a cup and that big old pouch and right in the front of your fucking mouth, oh, so gross to me. I'm sorry if you know you're if you're a dipper and you're like, oh, fuck you. All right, whatever. All right. Your choice, buddy. <laughs> I could never get into dipping. Never. I just don't like spitting. Uh, but, I mean, I had one wreck. Or one, yeah, one, I'll say a wreck, because, I mean, we were doing something to the where we came out, and whenever I was, uh, 
I had a car and I saw that we were doing that shit and I was like, oh shit, and I went to back up and a buddy of mine was right behind me and I rear end, or yeah, I hit him with the rear end of the vehicle or hit him with the other vehicle. And I mean, that, that shit came later to, to try to, dude tried to sue me for the shit and I was like, oh, it ain't happening. And it was after I got fired and I was like, no fucking way. And uh, so, all it, all it was is that the dude wanted extra shit on his car, but the casino wouldn't pay for it. And so he tried to go after me for the extra balance. And I was like, uh uh, I took it straight to them and they told me the, the deal. And uh, I don't know how they got my information, but it must have been from the accident report. I think I'm going to be surrounded by idiots here. Well, whatever. Uh, but yeah, I mean... It, and then I had to go take a piss test immediately afterwards. And I was suspended for like a day or two or something like that. But as many hours as I sat at that stupid fucking drug testing facility. I <laughs> made up some of the lost hours. I think that day I worked like a, a 16 or 17 hour shift. Because I was in the morning and I didn't leave until late that night uh, from the drug testing company. I took my time taking a piss. I knew what it meant if you took a piss. <laughs> but whenever I had to, I filled that motherfucking cup. <laughs> oh. Yay, my favorite bridge. Y'all just don't know what to do though. What I mean, I want to wait and get the BMW S1000R. I really do. But I'd have to wait till after. I'd have to find out and wait till my next assignment, which kind of sucks. Uh, but if it's overseas as well, you know, it could. I could benefit from it because I could probably get a BMW bike or a foreign bike a little bit cheaper like a uh, Triumph or something like that uh, but I really want the S1000RR I do like the FZ09 from Yamaha and well I could get I could probably get away with getting the FZ09 like next month or something like that if I wanted to uh, I've been playing a lot of soccer lately too uh, my team well, the team that I play on in the squadron is undefeated, which is awesome or fabulous. <laughs> um, I scored two goals out of our, like, I think we've got like 26 or 22 and only two against. So, I mean, I think we have probably the best or the second best team because there's another team that lost to us whenever on the first game uh, we'll see because we play them coming up in the next uh, next week or so I think next week we do <sighs> so that'll be a good game <sighs> well yeah Okay, back to valet. I know I split that story up, but the way I got fired was so, you know, I mean, parking garages don't have the best flooring surface. This was some slick concrete. And well, the safety manager somehow just happened to be in the garage at the same time I was. And I squealed the tires and he said I was flooring it and all this other shit going down. I mean, you can't go do faster than 15 without that motherfucker really fucking squealing tires or you know it's supposed to be five but you can get away with 10 <coughs> sorry 15 you're gonna you're gonna fucking spin out or something I mean it's slick and uh so I get called into the office I get suspended for a, a couple days I get called in the office and my supervisor I thought was gonna fucking back me up. But that didn't end up happening. She just fucking 
that sat there while I got fucking, I mean, broadsided by two different people. And, you know, sitting there fucking telling me that I was a horrible driver, they didn't know how I got this job to begin with, or how long I've been here, that I couldn't, they couldn't believe I'd been here this long, and all this other shit. And, I mean, there's only a certain point where I, you know, my passive aggressiveness just hits its peak, and I'm like, nope, self-defense mode, fuck you, dude. I, I mean, I'm sorry, you know, if I went a little fast, I, you know, I apologize for it, but I was like, you know, I'm not a bad driver, I drive well, all this other shit, and I mean, I mean, they were just fucking, I mean, it was two people just hitting me side to side, you know, hey, you're a fucking horrible driver, blah, 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 like, all right, fuck you, and they're like, all right, well, blah, 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 you're terminated, blah, 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 and I was like, all right, fuck you guys, whatever, I had another job anyway. <laughs> And this is like, this is like seven or eight months before I decided to join the military. I joined the military from losing my job. Uh, I gotta watch this chick behind me because she doesn't fucking look like she's paying attention. Uh, 